Hello YouTube friends, Dr. Teresa here again. Today's topic is about keeping the lined and the dwarf seahorse together in the same aquarium. And this idea was generated by Pink Poozy. Thank you for that idea. And she was responding to the video talking about how the lion seahorse and dwarf seahorses inhabit the same regions in the ocean. So theoretically, yes, they could live in the same tank together. They are exposed to the same pathogens and microorganisms. But to have a better understanding about if this is a reality for successful seahorse keeping, we just need to understand a couple of key things about aquarium setups for seahorses. So one general recommendation for a seahorse tank is to offer a flow of different filtration, power heads, wave makers that are equivalent to 10 or 15 times the water volume per hour of the actual tank size. As an example, the appropriate flow rate for a 10 gallon aquarium is 10 times 10, which equals 100 gallons per hour. If I were using a flow rate of 15 times the tank capacity, I would calculate 10 times 15, or the equivalent of 150 gallons per hour flow rate. The same is true for larger aquariums. So if I were using a 30 gallon aquarium, I would calculate 30 times 10 to equal 300 gallons per hour flow rate. Or if I wanted 15 times, I would use 30 times 15 to reach an equivalent of 450 gallons per hour. There are a couple of reasons that this flow rate is recommended. One is to keep the bottom clean. Any detritus or waste, we want to get that off the floor. It's unhealthy for the seahorses to eat um, and swim around in a floor that is loaded with growing bacteria due to waste breaking down. In addition, it optimizes the biological filtration with that higher flow rate. Now, you can see some of my other videos the ideal tank size for dwarf seahorses ranges from 2 to 10 gallons. And one of the reasons for that is that we need to concentrate their food in the aquarium. Most aquarists feed their dwarf seahorses newly hatched live brine shrimp. But the dwarf seahorses can be a little bit lazy and they don't necessarily chase their food they sort of go after it as it swims in front of them. So in order to keep that concentration of brine shrimp sufficient that they'll be nourished well enough, we need to have a smaller size tank. Now, of course, using a power filter on a smaller tank for dwarf seahorses requires some sort of cover on the intake, like a sponge, which needs to be rinsed regularly but that sponge prevents all of the brine shrimp from being sucked up. It prevents the dwarf seahorses from getting caught in the intake, and it also prevents any babies from getting sucked into the filter. The larger seahorse species, like the line seahorse, for example, requires a minimum of 30 gallons per pair of seahorses. This is considered sufficient volume and space for them so they can move, breed if they want to, and allows stable water conditions. Now the large seahorses can get up to six to eight inches long or tall. So you can imagine a 10 gallon tank would be way too small for the large seahorses to move around in easily. And in that size tank, between all of the food for the dwarf seahorses and the waste from the large seahorses, waste and toxins would build up very quickly. It would be a very unstable environment. So 
if we were to reverse the sizes of the tanks and we did start with a 30 gallon aquarium and try to put the dwarfs in with the larger seahorses, we would have different kinds of problems. As I mentioned, it would be much harder to have a sufficient concentration of live brine shrimp in the aquarium so that the dwarf seahorses would feed rather than starve. Also, the flow rate would just be too high for the dwarf seahorses. They wouldn't be able to swim in it, they would get knocked against the sides of the aquarium, nor would they be able to feed. The food would fly by them so fast that they would never be able to catch anything. As well, they would likely get sucked into the filter. You're not able to put a sponge on a filter that's required for larger seahorses because it interferes with the flow rate and the efficiency of the biological filtration. Additionally, any of the large waste that is output by the large seahorses is not pulled out of the aquarium if there's a sponge on the filter. That's creating very unhealthy conditions. And if you think about it, if you try to go a little bit smaller to accommodate the dwarf seahorses or a little bit larger to accommodate the large seahorses, you really are not providing optimum conditions for either species. So if you had an emergency and you temporarily had to put those two groups together for a short amount of time, a day or less until you were able to overcome your problem and put them in their proper aquariums, you could do so safely. I recommend not keeping them together because long term such an arrangement would not be successful. Well, I really appreciate the question. Thank you very much, Pink Poozy. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope to see you next time. Take care.